I have been in Papua New Guinea, where I have stayed 10 days. Let me tell you my opinion about the country. I will not recommend you any places to visit, I am sure there are some beautiful places to visit. This video is more about my experience in the country. 10 Long Days of Not Feeling Safe in Papua New Guinea Welcome to my channel. Is Papua New Guinea safe for travel? Is Papua New Guinea a secure destination? Here is everything you need to know before you travel, including how to avoid trespassing on private property. Oceania's Papua New Guinea consists of the eastern half of the island of New Guinea and its offshore islands in Melanesia, a region in the southwestern Pacific Ocean north of Australia. Port Moresby, located on the southeast coast, is the nation's capital. In 1975, Papua New Guinea achieved national sovereignty, and now is a Commonwealth territory ruled by Charles III as its monarch. The Constitutional Convention, which drafted the proposed constitution, and Australia, the outgoing metropolitan power, believe that Papua New Guinea would not retain its monarchical form of government. However, the founders believed that imperial honors carried prestige. The monarch is presently represented by the Governor-General of Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands are unique among Commonwealth realms, in that Governors General are appointed by the Head of State, the Sovereign, upon nomination by the National Parliament, which nomination the Head of State is not required to approve. With more than 700 languages, a variety of distinct cultures, difficult excursions, and excellent surf, Papua New Guinea is truly the final frontier of travel. But again, I warn you, go on your own risk. World War II shipwrecks attract experienced divers from around the globe. Additionally, traveling here can be hazardous. 60 years of Western influence have not diminished the warrior mentality, and violent crime is a problem in major cities and parts of the highlands. Here are some travel suggestions for Papua New Guinea. Conduct research to identify a responsible, trustworthy, and secure tour operator. Read reviews and ensure that the tour operator has a satellite phone, VHF radio, and public liability insurance. This is entirely distinct from travel insurance, which you must arrange independently. There is no concept of public land in Papua New Guinea, every piece of land, belongs to the Papuan communities and families. You risk trespassing on someone else's property and creating an unpleasant circumstance, ensure you are aware of your destination. Inquire where you should and should not travel, even better, bring a local with you. Depending on who you are with, you may be perceived as a strange intruder, or a welcome visitor. When you arrive in remote tribal villages, a local guide will help you make a positive impression, if they will detect any subtle signs of danger, you need to go to safety. Armed robberies are uncommon in Papua New Guinea, but pickpocketing and other opportunistic crimes do occur, particularly in local markets. Do not make your wallet an easy target, carefully conceal your belongings, and do not carry excessive quantities of cash, or your passport, if they are not required, just keep it secure, back at your lodging. Personal hygiene in Papua New Guinea, falls short of Western standards. By routinely washing hands, and using hand sanitizer, you can avoid foodborne illness and other health issues. Malaria, which is widespread, is an infectious disease, the single-celled parasite can only persist in the salivary glands of female mosquito, Anopheles mosquitoes, or in the liver and bloodstream of humans. The most effective treatment is to avoid mosquito bites. Apply insect repellent frequently, sleep under a mosquito net, and wear long-sleeved clothing during dawn, twilight, and jungle excursions. You may want to consider taking anti-malaria medication, but discuss your options with the physician. In the past, the derivative of quinine, chloroquine, was effective in preventing and treating malaria. Now, the two most prevalent strains of malaria in Papua New Guinea, have developed some level of chloroquine resistance. Although, this means that the drug's effectiveness in the prevention and treatment of malaria has diminished, it is still recommended. As malaria preventatives, doxycycline and vibromycin have been demonstrated to be efficacious. These have the added benefit of preventing bacterial infections when taken daily. Consult your doctor, 
or a traveler's medical center before traveling to Papua New Guinea to receive the best malaria prophylaxis advice. Even though English is the language of the media, government, and commerce, less than 20% of the population studied it in school. To communicate within Papua New Guinea, which has more than 700 languages and hundreds of communities, Tok Pisin, also known as Pidgin, a form of broken English, is the best option. You cannot be completely prepared for Papua New Guinea, it is like you are in the 19th century, but with the benefit that you see smartphones, and cars, and a mock-up of the civilized world. Due to Papua New Guinea's limited tourism infrastructure, very few regions are connected by road. With limited information available online, and no tourist information offices in Port Moresby, the best way to ask for travel advice, is to speak with a local, or hire a local guide. Do not hesitate to request suggestions or assistance, traveling throughout Papua New Guinea is difficult. There are a number of domestic airlines that serve provincial capitals and regional cities, making it simple to reach remote locations by air. When booking a tour package, flights should be included. Independent travelers should schedule domestic flights in advance to receive the best price. Using the significantly less expensive option of public motor vehicles to travel, is an excellent method to see the country by road, these minivans and buses, are privately owned. When traveling by boat, be aware that pirates are known to operate off the coast, please remain informed of the latest news or consult your tour guide. Due to the region's rugged mountainous terrain, which makes landing and navigation difficult, light aircraft are discouraged. Air New Guinea, the national airline, flies internationally, and to all of Papua New Guinea's main cities. The conclusion is, do not go to Papua New Guinea, is not safe, there are other places to visit, the corruption is rule of law, I tell you from my own experience, being a white guy, you are a target. The country is beautiful but the lack of infrastructure, the poor education, poor healthcare, and everything else's, makes the country a no-go. Thanks for watching.